Hello and welcome to this short guide about everything you need to know about personal tutoring. Here at Cardiff Met, this is something that we do really well. It was one of our unique selling points. We're a smaller university so we can really get to know our students really well and offer the support they need through personal tutoring. Let's get on with it. When you start university, you're assigned a personal tutor. And that is an academic member of staff who will take an active interest in your academic and general welfare whilst you're on the course. So all students from year one to year three have a minimum of one personal tutor meeting per term with their personal tutor. Obviously, if you need more support, if you're going through a difficult time or situation and you need more support, just get in touch with your personal tutor and they'll be able to book and arrange further meetings. Again, from year one to year three, really important that you engage with your personal tutor and look to build a relationship with them. The personal tutors at the end, when you graduate, will be the people that write your references. So it's important to build a relationship and to really make the most of this process. So over the three years, you can look to talk, and I usually speak to my personal tutees about identifying how you can progress. So we talk about assessments, we look at feedback from assignments, we look at and try and identify some targets for your work, and we also keep an eye and start to think about employment. So where are you gonna go on the course and where are you gonna go on from graduation? So for an example, you might wanna start thinking about teaching or you might look at wider avenues and we can look to explore how you can do that over the three years. Again, within the personal duty meetings, can help from year one to year three. When you first start, just from making that transition from wherever you've come from to higher education, then, especially in year three, we can start again to start to talk about transition from university into the wider world and looking at things like interviews, experience, building your CV. Really important that you engage with your personal tutor over the three years to establish this relationship all notes are kept for meetings so we can track progression on the personal duty system. Only your personal tutor and yourself can see these notes, but it really helps to keep a record of how far you've come and it helps with progression. A personal tutor is not a counsellor. They can be a gateway to other support services within the university and outside of the university but their role is not to be a counsellor. To book a meeting with your personal tutor, go onto the student portal. On there you'll see on the right hand side, personal tutor portal, and you can look to see the appointments that are available. Also it's worth keeping uh, the email of your personal tutor, and again, to get in contact if there are no appointments that are available on the portal. So that's it. Personal tutoring is a really, really important aspect of your university experience. Make sure you engage in the process, whether in year one, year two, or year three. A number of students think that, or wrongly assume, that because they're not going through problems, they don't need to engage. A personal tutor is much more than just people in need of support. As mentioned, we can help to identify targets. We can also help to identify how you progress into a career as well. Make sure you get in touch with your personal tutor. If you're unsure who your personal tutor is, have a look in the first instance for all things pure personal tutoring on the personal tutor portal. It should outline who is. If not, then get in touch with your programme director. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.